Hey guys, welcome back. Now that we got our light situation all done, uh, this is the Casio W. Uh, let's let's just get you the real model number because uh, I mess this up all, all the time. It's a 4756 movement. It looks like it's a WVQ 142A, um, and this is uh, one of my three go-to watches. I made a video on that. You can check it out, and it had a dead battery when I made that video, but I wore it to dinner last week. I uh, went to pick it up today and look at it, and uh, it's the battery is dead again, so we're going to do a quick video on a battery change. Let's get into it. I got my spring bar tool here. I got my little mini screwdriver. I got a couple of those laying around. We're going to see if we can get in there and just get that spring bar. Put our finger on there so it doesn't uh, fly out everywhere like we always do. And then we're going to remove these four screws back here. Pretty easy. And we're going to see what we got inside here. This is one of my favorite watches, as I said. Like, if I go out to dinner um, or go where I want to wear a nicer looking watch, um, I'll reach for this one almost every time. I just love the looks of this one. And I know it's a Casio, and, and you know, people will you know, kind of turn their nose up. I'll call it luxury watch. People will turn their nose up, but I love this watch. I love the way it looks. All right, let's peel this back off. Let's see if we can get under there with our spring bar tool. There we go. And let's peel this up and see what we are dealing with here. Now, this battery, it probably lasted two years. I would say, okay, we got a 1620. I don't know. Can you see that okay? Yeah, 1620. So let's uh, get a 1620 out of our stash. All right, and here, as you can see, I buy these on Amazon. Link to those in the description. Super cheap on Amazon. I, I want to say it's like five, six bucks a pack usually on these. Um, yeah, just... Uh, Use that link if you would. It throws a few pennies at the channel. And we're going to put this positive side up. Here's a new battery, 1620, just like our old battery. Like I said, this lasted a couple years. Um, we're going to put that in there. Uh, positive side up. And then we're going to work to get our latch back down. Now, this is a radio watch. Um... So it does, uh, it uses probably more battery than, than other types of watches due to, uh, due to its uh, radio functions where it goes out and, and checks for atomic time. Um, now let's just uh, flip this over. Okay, we, we definitely got uh, lights on there. Um, and then we're going to put our screws back in. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this watch if you don't mind. Um, I got this watch in a watch lot I bought. I think it was on on eBay. It came from, uh, this is back in the day when you could get a little better quality out of watch lots. Um, it's, it's funny because people don't know how to change the batteries and such, so they'll just kind of, you know, throw the watch away they'll think it's broken or, or w whatever they're thinking I'm not really sure um, just watches aren't like this aren't used much today except for by us older people and um, so they don't really realize like how easy it is to just do a little work on these and you notice I'm going kind of in an opposite direction because I want to get that to seal down good and make sure we keep water out of there and let's get that one in and then we'll get this one in oh man I was uh, I was working last night and on the pool and cut my finger pretty good so it kind of hurts to I'm just going to whine for a minute it kind of hurts to run the screwdriver <laughs> okay so we got that back in 
and we're just going to go through and we're going to make sure they're tightened down and that is the simple simple battery change so if you don't have a tiny screwdriver which almost everybody has one you can get that at Walmart or whatever but then the spring bar tool you can get this off of Amazon I've got those linked down below the tools it's super cheap they're worth it they're worth the money now we're gonna put this back in our spring bar oh, can you see that yeah that slipped out when I was changing the battery and then we're gonna come back through here uh, see it keeps falling out so you just gotta hang on to that nice to put a cloth down like this and we're going to put that right here in the second hole um, that's where I like to have mine for adjustment and, and then we're going to take our spring bar tool and we're going to put it right on the end of that spring and we're going to hold it down and then shove it in there and then we're going to try to line it up there we go hear that click all right we're back in business now i don't have um oh sorry a bunch more light this will go out and try to find time to set it uh, I don't I'm not going to do any more on this video about that I have an entire series about setting this watch which is uh, not super easy but not too complicated once you figure it out so I'm going to link that one and uh, right here on the end screen but that is the battery change super simple thank you for watching guys and we'll see you next time